Welcome back everybody to Pokemon Plutonium. I mean Uranium. Audio is a bit low. Let me see if I can't fix that. Let's try that. That seems good. Oh yeah, I've got a poke egg. I forgot about that. So we're on the radioactive island. Before we advance with the story, let's see what radioactive Pokemans we can capture. Um, you know how Otsu said no, no uranium. Yeah. Well, we have a compromise. If Morgan keeps. Doing what he does in Pokemon RP will force him into uranium. And he can't leave it. Okay. Come on. This is sand. I should be getting So um uh, so that's well, the only that's the only way how we'll have uranium in our RP is if Morgan keeps on his axe and not and doesn't, and doesn't change. Yeah, basically we're gonna we're gonna fight his ham with even more ham. We're gonna warp him to the universe of uranium, so all the things he knew and loved as a character is gone. Oh, um, some po Pokemon are there, but you know you know the plot of uranium. Better yes, I'm playing it right now for my live streamers. Um, um, <laughs> Atsu. What's on the list for the champions? Well, first of all, Alola doesn't have a, an official Pokemon League. They have the tribe. I know, I, I, I know, but uh, but uh, but uh, like I was putting down, oh, put, 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 put down for for the Oh great! I'm being attacked by an insane scientist. Well, oh, a super scientist. Okay, that's a weird Pokemon. Alaron, do a barrel rollout. Sycamore and Dianthos would not be there because Sycamore, the professor, is over in Sinnoh. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and uh, must slap. Diantha is too busy right now being a movie star. She, and she's too, she'd be young. She was a very young champion when you see her in Kalos. And that's why, like, Lysandra says that. It's like, oh, don't you want to stay young forever and do the same roles? you're good at and she says no i really do like leftovers and free auto heals and, uh, and learn other roles and for unova canonically you can't use alter why not since she was a champion until fucking white Oh, he hmm. wasn't a champion until the first. Try Antony. Uh, um, he was, but he he just like, like he was, but he was just, was just wandering around. You know, but, like he was he, he, he was just battling anyone. He was just wandering around. So he's just um, we could use him, but it would it would. So uh, they're immune to ghost moves. It would change the events of of the of the current of the time period. <laughs> So they're not so they're immune to ghost moves, which means they're probably a fairy type fairy, poison yeah. sting, maybe. Wait, no, fairies are immune to ghost. Oh, that fucking uranium programming. That's right. I might be wrong. I'm just trying to remember what's immune to ghost. Um, um normal is fighting, I believe. Uh, no, uh, no, 
No, uh, fighting can't hit ghosts, but ghosts can hit fighting. Oh, ghosts can hit fighting, so your odds are that it has a normal typing then. Did the Pokemon just force my poke? The, the Pokemon just forced my Pokemon back into its Pokeball and switched back to my original one it was fighting. Roar? Yeah, that was Roar. <sighs> Thankfully, every time I... The one thing I do know. Thankfully, when I summon uh, Demi Devi, he starts to fight with Intimidate. Uh. So just making me resummon him doesn't do you any good. Oh yeah, because it drops your attack by one. So yeah, keep keep doing roar. Oh my god, could you imagine? It? <laughs> roar. A person uses roar with someone who has a team full of intimidate Pokemon. And the Parodio is now poisoned and will now die on the next turn because of how low its health is. And there it goes. Super scientist Isaac is about to send in Castrow. Will you switch Pokemon? Nah, I'll stick with Demi Devi. Wait, did they? Castrow, really? Or Costro. Doesn't matter how you pronounce it. It, it still sounds like something else. Mm-hmm. I'm going to have to switch out my Pokemon. Let's try... Let's give Like a Boss a chance. No biggie, it's not like it's a leader from tube or anything. I mean, it's like a boss, a stored HP using leftovers. I do love leftovers. Let's try magnitude seven. A critical hit, it's super effective. Like a boss, always a good choice. I've been stumped. I'm not sure what's up with the Pokemon. As long as this mom is kind, volume is it shouldn't be a problem. Oh, yeah. He he just, uh, yeah. It's not going to be confined to the island, is it? Ugh. And behold, a radioactive Kostrow. Irks me on the whole radioactive. Like, it's okay with Spider Man, but with my Pokemon, you need to get radioactive out of it. I think the best way to think about radio radiation Pokemon is they're sort of like um, shiny. Shadow but, from shadows or shinies. You know, they're more like. I, I, I think the way you're reading it is like they have a different stat boost, don't they? And they also technically have the radioactive type. The shadows from XD, Yellow Darkness, and Coliseum. The only one I can think of it, because shinies are something that uh, shinies are more like. Well, I don't like saying albino Pokemon. Yes, I want to heal my Pokemon. They, Thank you. Shinies are rare. They happen every once in a while, and you can breed them. Like, I would, like, they made more fan lore, head cannon, that it's like an albino Pokemon. Okay, that's a little terrifying. Certain, certain packs will shun their Pokemon because they're shiny. Because they're trying to camouflage, but the shiny looks different. Yeah, this isn't a horrifying monstrosity of God. The shiny, shiny outen. That's not going to give everyone nightmares. Oh, radioactive outen. Uh, interesting. Black and glows in the dark. I 
decided to scoop out the peanut butter into a uh, bowl instead of scooping into the jar over and over for my cookies. Bye, Mary. Thank you. Eating slate. You need subliminal. Good crit hit, super effective. This is just what I need. No, I need that neutrality. Pokeball! Go! The low in forms plus shadow forms and just turning it up to 12. Why I say 12 is because the battle only goes to 10. I'm going to keep it as an outan. Yeah, that's kind of, that's not nearly as terrifying. Can you unradiate a Pokemon in uranium? I think you can, actually. Yeah, so it is more, more akin to the shadow Pokemon. In uh, the GameCube games, I'm just gonna say it that way because that's what they were for. I mean, it is kind of like the Alolans when you think about it, because they're only radioactive because they're living around a well nuclear power plant. Mm -hmm. So uh, a little bit of the both of like uh, Alolan type because it's because of their surroundings. But shadow Pokemon because you can eventually uh, irradiate them because that was the biggest gimmick for the GameCube games. It's like, oh yeah, you can steal people's shadow Pokemon and then go to this temple to purify them. Pokeball. Up, oh, nope. I want to go to Pokeballs. Pokeball. Go! Catch me a radioactive chipmunk. Nah, I don't want to give it a nickname. Name, name it the Magic Con Shell. Now, what their, what their character's name? The one who took, the one who took Roll Girl. Uh, what was Roll Girl's name? Super scientist Albert would like to battle. Send out a normal Kamite. Okay. Kamite. Let's try Metal Claw on the Kamite. Wow. Her name is Dobrin Green. Hmm. Her last name is Green. That sounds perfect for folks like this. Yeah, I'll stick with the Pokemon I got. And I'm going to use... Oh yeah, it's this one. Who I have so much trouble with. I'm actually going to switch out. For like a boss. Go like a boss. I've paid attention to their uranium playthroughs. Nikolai, because I care about Nikolai, 
in that pet because I like to watch like his girlfriend there. Yeah, but Matt Pat, stop playing uranium while I keep playing it. Yep. And I am. Steph, Steph is hilarious. Steph is wonderful. Steph should have her own channel if she doesn't already. Aleron grew to level 22. Anthony grew to level 27. My Pokemon needs some more motivation. So he attacks me because his Pokemon need motivation. Okay, then. Since the wild Pokemon here are so vicious, some of us have had to train Pokemon of our own to battle against them. My steel types seem to be far better than most. Unless there's fire involved. Oh, it's another one of these things. Costro. All right. Fight the Costrow with Metal Claw. Since they apparently are weak to steel. And I missed. Of course I did. Keep missing with Metal Claw. Let's try... Rock Smash. That'll work. A couple more hits and I can toss a Pokeball at its face. Pokeball. Yeah, ha, 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 ha. One, two, three, ding. Hey, hey, oh, hey, look. It's Asshat. I mean, Theo. There it is, the old power plant. Or no, I think it's just Theo's dad. I can't tell you how many times I've searched this place trying to find something, anything to explain what happened to all those years ago. Of course, it's no good. Almost everything was destroyed in the explosion. What wasn't destroyed it was mostly burned up by the fire afterwards. The building is crumbling. It's slated for demolition soon. This may be the last chance we have to uncover what really happened. Although I doubt there's anything left to find. Are you going inside? Dot, dot, dot. Of course, it's the last place your mother was seen. But it's very dangerous. That's why... There. I put a tracker on you. If something happens, if you get hurt, we will come get you. That's a promise. Now, I suggest you heal up and grab some supplies before going inside. You don't know what you might find in there. And this, of course, the literally the second I turn around just to go towards the door again, what happens? A Castro attacks me. Because the annoying thing is that if I want to heal up, I have to go back all the way to the beginning of the island. Castro, poison psychic. I'm poison. On the wiki. Which is funny because. Um, I'm just kicking its ass with rock smash. It's a fighting move. So I can't get off this little bit of land why, here. Explain why the steel types are affected by cast draw because poison. <sighs> what supplies do I have? Because the way he phrases it, once you go in, you're not going to be able to get back out. So I need to make sure I'm prepared. With a good amount of supplies. I don't really have a lot of supplies, do I? Alright. Hey, 
And a Tancoon. That's radioactive. I'm going to hit it with Metal Claw. Damn, one shot that thing. Times like this, so I wish I had some max repels. Because I've got to turn back around, go back to the top of the island to restock. And then I'm going to have to come back through all this again. How is everybody? Playing, playing Pokemon Uranium for my uh, streamers. Gotta love the grind in a Pokemon game, right, folks? No. I do. I appreciate every little moment of it. I mean, yes, grinding does help you get over those walls, but... Yeah. But sometimes those walls aren't really worth it. The walls are made to be broken. Like the fourth wall. Hi, audience. All right, heal my Pokemon. Thank you, Nurse Joy. Can I actually buy supplies here? Yep. I've only got 20,000 Poke Dollars. I wonder if I'll be able to afford a few full heals. There, for 10 grand, I bought 17 of them. That should be enough. Uh, just wait. There might be a chair around the corner. 10 levels higher. Completely owns you. I think what now that I think about it, Nintendo wanted you to spend more time on either side in um, Eternal Forest, not Eternal Forest. What is it called? Elat. They wanted to spend have you spend more time in Elat. And then, then try the bug catching contest before you face Whitney. You know, up in the park. Yeah. They wanted you to do all the things in Golden Rump before you face the gym. 
could you could have gotten the Smart Chop if you knew where to look for it. If you had a Drowsier and Abra, you want you'd want to grind up that Drowsier Abra though, so it could it would be the same level. Mm -hmm. There's also the nerds to fight in the un underground salon. Oh yeah, them. And also the turn to uh, go to the po to the radio tower for a contest. Uh huh. I do want to get your radio card so that you listen to things on your Pokemon. Yeah. Like there. And there's the bike thing, and then learning where to get the squirt bottle. Hmm. Okay, you can't get the squirt bottle until you face Whitney. Yeah, it's just that I'll give you a squirt bottle if you beat Whitney. Uh. So, do everything else first. I'm gonna try that in my crystal run, because that's actually no, I'm already past that my crystal run. I'll get my Pokemon, I'll get all the Pokemon I want in crystal and. Use Metal Claw. It's super effective. I'm just, I'm just trying to think of all the walls that I've had to overcome in the in the Pokemon games. I know in Gen One it was Brock, depending on well, if he had to take, if he had to do the yellow version. It's amusing. I've been streaming for 26 minutes, still haven't ended the nuclear power plant. I've just been going back and forth through the grind and having to heal up. Alright, folks. We're finally entering the nuclear power plant. Time to get some stuff. Oh. Okay, that's not creepy at all. That's not creepy at all. If you're going to continue grinding, I'll start on to uh, Q&A questions. This look is part of a burnt notebook. The headline says, Report Number 1. Would you like to read it? Yes. Parag is din 92 from radiation via biofiber it to reconstruct damage added page to your bag I think they're trying to build a nuclear suit obtained burnt notebook Xander put the burnt notebook in the items page some pages need to be missing they must be scattered around the place oh wonderful more nuclear Pokemon inside of the nuclear power plant, and I've got to find the eight pages to avoid Slendermon. <laughs> you knew where my brain was going with that. Hi, Neo. Neo is basically friendly but sus and Thunderman. Yes. Yeah. As I said, there's different Slenderman things. There's ones that are dressed all fancy, like Trenderman. The one that's in a typical black suit and red tie, Slenderman. And now we have one with a boar hat and a fancy pin, Neo. There's one from Japanese mythology, which is um, the Naparabo. Basically, I'm listing off faceless beings. The Slenderman's based off the uh, German legend of the. The tall man? The Grossman? My pronunciation might be rusty, but I know the words. Good. Good to know, sir. Yep. And, and apparently, Rob Zombie's song Dracula is about 
referencing him? It's a... I, it's, a it's about a car. It is about a car, but there's... Oh, the Dragula part is, but the, the, the lyrics in between? Uh, hold on, let me find them. And here's another horrifying monstrosity. Those green soulless eyes. Dead I am the one exterminating sun, slipping through the trees, standing in the breeze. Dead I am the sky, watching angels cry, while they slowly turn, conquering the worm. The worst part is I don't know which is the right way and which is the way to get loot. Because, like, there's a door yeah, right in front. The there's, like, a door right in front of me when I enter, which I avoided because I figured, you know, that's the way you're supposed to go. But then I headed to the left, and the left just seems to go on forever, which might be the way I'm supposed to go there. So many ways to go, so little time. Aleron grew to level 23. I'm gonna regret constantly running back and forth, aren't I? Probably. Use Metal Claw, Aleron. I think another, another roadblock I've had in the Pokemon games was... I think... The uh, Psychic Twins in Gen 3. Let's try Mud Slap. See if I can weaken him without one-shotting him. That'll work. Because I haven't got this radioactive Pokemon in my collection. Gotta catch them all. Gotta catch them all. Oh dear God, they're glowing, glowing green. in a hot rod. It's a play on words. Thank you, Rob Zombie and this is lyricanalysis.com. Pokeball. Gaho. Ding. Okay, this is a small room. You've gained more cancer. Looks like this is part of the burnt notebook. It says report three. Read it? Yes. I, I want the to MRI. Anomalous brainwave. Mm. Spec Inca in de 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 we suppress. He's really good at reading it that way, because it actually tells, like, the signal is breaking. Yeah. Ah, I see. So this is a loop around from that first door. I, I still think that they're trying to make the next ready whack of man. Radioactive man. They got attacked right before grabbing a note. Of course they did. Well, I've got two of the eight pages. Hopefully I can keep Slender Mono off my back. But doesn't, doesn't he get faster the more pages he gets? Yep. Yes, in Slender Man, the eight pages, he gets faster and closer the more you get. And that's why it's a really tricky game. It's like you this can't stay in one spot for too long. 
It's like this was part of the Burt Notebook. The headline says, Report Number Two. Should we read it? Yes. Power Corp from over it, a large nuclear fuel tube, to lies activated, able to pro limitless energy. I knew it. Oh, I got... They are making radioactive man. But the goggles do nothing. <laughs> Antony grew to level 28. Nice job there, Antony. Yep, is this going to take me out to the front door? Yes. Thought so. What's this? All the pages are gone. So that probably takes me deeper in. So I think I figured out how this map works, but we'll see for a second. Everything seems to loop, connect, in, everything seems to interconnect. No matter what route you take, it's going to connect to another part. So you, there aren't actually any dead ends. Hashtag uh, Lexalalia. Security hacker, we solve problems you didn't know you had in ways you don't understand. Another metal claw. It's super effective. This door is locked. The key might be able to unlock it. So I think I found a way to I found a way to at least advance with the story. I need to find the magic key. I also saw what looks like a notebook page. I don't it's probably gonna be like page eight or whatever because if it's by the exit it's probably not going to be part four all right up oh, no that's just ah just the it's just the control console stuff so i know how where i need to go to move on with the story so let's go back to where I was before. I'm exploring, finding notes, capturing radioactive Pokemans, hitting them with Metal Claw. Yep. Because apparently radiation is weak to uh, steel. Interesting. Mm. Actually, there might be a basis in that. Are oh, you think it's because of the inanimate carbon rod? I was just going to say that. In Rod, we trust. <laughs> All thanks to this inanimate carbon rod. He's the hero. He should get a medal. Oh, you got to meet the rod? I wanted to meet the rod. Now, to me, it seems like that would be a pretty d dangerous combination in a real-world scenario. An electric-slash-radioactive Pokemon. Hmm. I know where their electricity comes from. Yeah. The radiation. You're sending so many of these, Nebby. <laughs> I know. Where are you I sending know. what? I'm sending him pancakes. I don't like this room. This is a little suspicious. A note on a table next to a Pokeball in a radioactive nuclear power plant. What could possibly go wrong? Free, po free Pokemon! Free Pokemon! Yeah. Maybe one you don't want. Something may or may not happen. It's like this was part of the burnt notebook. The headline says report number four. Read it? Yeah. No. The interface, final today. It, erator, assume full control. It, spec, chief researcher, doctor, granted, 
clearance. Obtained rusty key. So the Pokeball was a rusty key. Okay. <laughs> Aw, such cute dog. There are. Oh no, they're retarded. It's easier. That's that's because your brain took in both frequencies and made a different word out of it. I mean, I realize yeah. the Pokeball icon just being used as a generic item icon, but. Because that happens in the game all the time. You find a little Pokeball is actually just an item of some sort. But still. Now I'm just imagining a literal lock that uses a Pokeball as the key. Uh -huh. Well, if anything, that would make sense because, well, the Pokemon is making out ra uh, is radioactive. So that means it's probably radiating energy out to outside the Pokeball, so it could also double as a um, power source. And of course, those Pokemon that are radioactive, I'm holding on my hips. What could possibly be oh, a but... side effect of that? Hey, you guys, I didn't say we were gonna, how we were gonna split up. Like, do we ever do it any other way? Uh, um, he's not wrong. I, I love that meme, though. So for anyone who's drawing, so anyone who's drawing fan art of the trainer from Uranium having kids, uh, realize that they're carrying radioactive Pokemon on their hips for quite a while, so they're probably sterile. Sterile. Or at least their children will be very deformed. Or have superpowers. Or be Pokemon. <laughs> Okay, you wanna be the old, uh, old coot Mr. Pokemon? Oak. One of, uh, he's one of Oak's, uh, poker buddies. They play cards with each other. They play Poco, Poke, er. Uh... Yes, they have a battle after. Because they play poker betting with their own Pokemon as the chips, and if they, if they don't feel they can do the bet. So by the end of the battle, they're, they're using each other's Pokemon by the end of the poker game. But it, it makes the battle after. Sander, use the rusty key. Dot, dot, Rusty's dot. Rusty's key? Good day, Xander. Hi, this is Luke. Let's have a battle. I want to see how much you've grown. I'm still hanging around root... F oh. It's the Poke phone that I have. I'm just get, I just get a random call from one of the trainers saying I'm ready to fight again. Oh, no. It's, it's Jet 2 all over again. I'm suddenly having Joey flashbacks. That was just My so weird. The best. That was so weird because, like, okay. I thought it was story-related. I'm like, I'm suddenly being contacted. I saw. Yeah. Here's a bunch of white nationalists from Orange County flashing the hand sign for white power, which is also the American Sign Language for asshole. Yep. It's like this is part of the burnt notebook. The headline says, Report 5. Read it. Has been breached. Confidential. Fourth shall relocate. High secure. Under gr servers. Project 92 have ruined. Also, Dr. K, you probably saw this in the admin chat because that's what we were talking to when I was talking to Lily earlier. Mm -hmm. I'd love to see. Have Hyatt Hi do this. 
like going around like as a girl to people, and then all of a sudden again. After he get after he gets the numbers as a girl, this happens. Yep. If a guy sends you unsolicited dick pics, just send back a picture of a bigger dick and say, this is what mine looked like before the operation. But yours is nice, too. Uh, technically that isn't wrong, because my buckster form was a female. <laughs> yeah. And, and chat, don't ask about this. It's an X8 RP thing. We do a lot of R We do a lot of RP. It's like we both in a church of prayer does. Aleron grew to level twenty four. The giant worry, nuclear Lord. reactor. Come on. Stasis tank active. Suspension time suspension timer is um, should I reactivate the stasis tank? No. You're, nothing ever is going to happen to it. Total takes rule! Blow up everything! You know what, Atsu? Instability detected. Error, error, error. Yeah, that's probably not good. Something's hissing at me. I almost wanted to do that. Is that a bad thing? Xander used the Pacific Standard Time. Hold on, we got a story here, folks. Xander used the Pacific Standard Time. Kill the intruder. Crush, destroy, kill. Okay, then. <laughs> um. I said that just like he said. Hashtag Annie. So, uh, boss fight. So, drop is actually literal. Been proven so many times it's war. Like the dress being blue, black. It's perception. It's it's all about. Seriously, the 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 audio clip they pitched it up and it says. Laurel, they pitched it down and it says Yanny. Oh, I've got the perfect All Pokemon. Is... All of this Pokemon's attacks have no effect on Barrel. In the but... middle, it depends on your hearing. Because, for example, I hear Yuri. Yeah, they, he's getting a little bit of both of it. You're, like, it goes... Because he's getting the yay, the first part, the Y from Yanny, the OR from Laurel, and the ending Y of Yanny, becoming Yuri. Because his brain is taking the frequencies and waves. Which is why I also think that Dr. K is the perfect subject for the subliminals, because his brain picks up on both frequencies. Just don't let him near a lower town music. Just don't let him go near lower town music. The original. Oh, we know that that his uneasiness is a little more drastic with the louder town. We know, but what I mean as a perfect test is that they're gonna work a little better. But trust me, it's only what you request because. Subliminals are also more like hypnosis. If you're not willing, willing for it to happen, you're not gonna get the results. So yeah. someone can't force you to be something you're not because you have to consent. All right, That's I think this boss. Is I... if, if you deep down in your heart do not want it to happen, it's not gonna happen. Pokeball go. Two, three. Like how the supplement you sent me is, is starting to work because I've been wanting to fix this for a long time. Bingo. Pokeball try two. I got three out of four ticks. Yeah, I've noticed that in them. One, two, three, four.
Gotcha. Trap Pint was caught. Was added to the Pokedex. Trap Pint. Birdo Pokemon. A, Poison Psychic. Is it a male? Is it a male? Uh, but it is a telekinesis. Use a telekinesis to move objects behind this foe, depending on escaping. But and is it a male? Would I like to give a nickname to it? Yes, let's give a nickname to it. No, it's female. Darn. I've said it was female like three times. So what? So what should we give this one, which is also a boss type Pokemon, as a name? Darn. Uh, I want to make a joke if it was a male. What was Big Boss's name in Metal Gear? Naked Snake? No, like his actual name. Uh, which, which, which Big Boss? I'll just go Big Boss. Why not Liquid Snake? Big Boss. Big Boss was transferred to Pitch's, uh, P Pitch's PC. Well, I you know what? That's just looked it up and his name is, is Josh. The radiation makes you feel woozy. It's a struggle to keep your eyes open. Oh no. Cameron, Xander, Xander, are you there? Hello, Xander, do you copy? Something must have happened. Quickly, Xander is in trouble. We're on our way. Just hang in there. Kshht. I got too much cancer. Somebody help me. Look, they're awake. Oh my god, your trainer is going to be gullified. Thank Arceus, Sander. Are you alright? We came and got you as soon as you could, and you didn't reply on the radio. Seems like you had a pretty bad fall. Are you okay? Did the wild Pokemon attack you? Vital signs are all good. No broken bones either. Though you're... We're detecting low levels of radiation in their system. It's a good thing we came when we did. The nurses have treated you for radiation exposure already. It's like you're going to be okay. What did you find in there? You were gone a long time. Huh? You found some kind of partially destroyed notebook? Fascinating! May I take a look? I mean, I don't care about you being affected by radiation poison. Let me read the notebook. Hmm. I don't know how this escaped my scrutiny before. These documents seem to be lab reports, but they're strange. Uh, I thought that the building was a power plant, not a laboratory. They appear to be mostly illegible, but I'm noticing that the number 092 appears several times. I wonder what it could mean. If you don't mind, I'd like to make some copies of these. They are deserving of further study. And above all, just happy we're able to get you out of there safely. It's clear to me that the old power plant is too dangerous for a place to keep around. It's a breeding ground for hostile Pokemon and a dark specter path. I think it's time we demolish it. As for you, Xander, you should leave by the dock. I'm worried that any further radiation exposure will be bad for your health. You can inform your father, <laughs> Kylan, about what you found here. Oh, and uh, send Theo, my love. Goodbye, Xander. Safe travels. I'm assuming you have read that both ways, Dr. K. Yes, I have. I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> Asshole. No, no, no. See, you don't read it completely backwards. You just read the sentence the other way. Because going from top down, it's self-deprecating. But if you read it from the bottom up, it's confident. Yep. And the point of the poem is, life is how you view things. If you view things in the negative, Things will be negative. But if you think hey, positive, the boss says nobody's elect back back here anymore. The place is going to be demolished soon. All right, so I can't go back to the nuclear power plant. All right. Oh wait, it's going to be demolished. Both of It's going to be explosive. Hmm. You again? Okay, so I guess you want to uh, sail back to Route to Seven. Yeah, yeah. Let's All go to Somnium one, uh, Dr. K. Okay. Uh, General. Back to Bell Beach City. All right. And I want to actually find the Poke Center so I can swap out my Pokemon because I just picked up another boss. Eh, Pokemon Rangers. I guess I should tell my dad what happened. Hey, Xander, so you delivered the letter to Cameron. That's a good year, although these reports of strange Pokemon are concerning. As long as it's just confined to the island, though, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Yes, I can imagine that these Pokemon will somehow get off the island. 
There is no, absolutely no chance of that happening whatsoever. I mean, what are the odds that these dangerous radioactive Pokemon will get off the island? I can't possibly see that happening in any way, shape, or form. There's the Poke Mart. There's the subway. Here's the Poke Center. Want to move some Pokemon? Yep, look at all these radioactive Pokemon I've captured, including Big Boss. Which I'll swap with the egg. to the Pokemon gym. Prepare for trouble. I mean, let's battle. Swimmer Adam would like to battle. Swimmer Adam set out Cochran. Cochran eat Metal Claw. Ow, that hurt. So what are good against water Pokemon? Because I'm guessing that's what I'm going to be facing here. Lex, my electric. Ooh, Alaron can't be switched out because of Sandstorm or whatever it's called. Sand Tomb. And there goes Alaron fainting. Come on, Lex. Time to kick some ass. Thundershock. Immune to Thundershock. Okay. to switch your Pokemon. He's sending in something that's got a poison type. Why didn't I let me switch Pokemon? Let's try Lick. Not much damage. And poison fang, maybe? Yeah, no. Let's try. Let's give Big Boss a try, shall we?
Come on, big boss. Mega Drain. Big Boss, use Acid. Big Boss, use Acid. Stop ignoring my orders, Big Boss. I see, because he's level 30. He's too high level for me to actually control properly. Because I think I only have two badges. Fine. Like a boss, switch in. Magnitude. Eight. No, I am not part of Team Rocket. Well, now I'm going to have to go back and heal. Because uh, that was tougher than I expected it would be. Speaking of which, Pokemon. Let's switch Alaron with Like a Boss. Because Like a Boss seems like he's the one who's going to be my choice here. Oh wait, I have some stuff from the mystery gift stuff at the Pokemart to pick up. the fifth floor. Third floor, then. Okay, fine. Maybe the second floor? we we'll have to be able to get it at any Pokemart. Seeing any indication of the courier here. 
I mean, suppose the courier is here and I just didn't pay attention. Ooh, a trainer battle. All right. Cool trainer Carla. Can I farm Carla? Man, I really need to train. Got a bunch of cash. You don't need to go far to heal. The bad thing is that they yell at you. Yeah, so I can't farm her for healing, for battles. That's a bummer. Uh, let's see. Pokemon. So I should really give an item to Big Boss. Let's give him... Also, hi, Tech uh, Richard Hobo, and welcome to Pokemon Uranium. Tandor Network, no. Thank you for following. Huh. There's supposed to be a courier I can pick up the mystery items from. I'm not seeing them. Ah, oh, well, maybe it's a different town because it's a story related. Alright. On to. Continuing our travels through the Tandor region. We already fought him. He's going to fight us next. You'll be sunk like the Titanic. I mean, you say that, Sailor Toby. But. Also, hi, Rodriguez471, and welcome to Pokemon Uranium. Magnitude. Eight. He is not very effective. Okay. Didn't Nintendo did, in fact, ban Uranium. But you can still find it if you know where to look. And it's still actually being updated. Ooh, that hurt. Like a boss took a nasty hit there. 
And with Sand Tomb, I can't actually get him out. So let's see. Super Potion, Full Restore, Hyper Potion, Burn Heal. I was wondering why I couldn't get over the other side, because I know I had some full heals. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to switch from Brain Lap, because Brain Lap's a horrifying monstrosity. Let's do... I think Demi Devi? <laughs> Bray Lip is a horrifying monstrosity. Have to switch out to Lex. Try Magnet Rise. And there goes static. Gotta love static. To put a shock to your system. Thundershock work? I don't think so. I didn't think so. Let go and sink down. I always cry when I watch Titanic sniff. Oh, do you have any water types? 
I have some water types, yes. Swimmer, Monica, would like to battle. Swimmer, Monica, set out, fell wrong. All right, like a boss. Show him why you're a boss with magnitude. Seven. About to send in Spone. Would you like to switch your Pokemon? Nope. <laughs> Some of these Pokemon are horrifying. Magnitude, seven. Okay. Let's try Dual Chop. That wasn't a bad move. I'm not gonna say. That wasn't bad at all. Dual Chop again. And in Braylip. Yeah, let's bring Lex back in. Bra Lex needs to be pretty good against Braylip. Aqua Jet. May not be very effective, but it does a lot of damage. Does Thundershock do anything? That is super effective. Thundershock. Jeez, I lost. What will Callie think of me now? You are an inferior trainer. Beauty Claire would like to battle. Go like a boss. Use magnitude. I said use magnitude already. Eight. Ow, that hurt. Fine. I still switch back to Lex. Thundershock. Static. Always nice. Antony grew to level 30. Nice. Selling fell wrong. Eh, let's stick with Lex. Thundershock. I'm still better than you. You will never defeat Callie. And now that Antony has hit level 30, I'm going to take the EXP air item off of him. And I'm going to give him... Leftovers. And let's see. Well, 
let's do let's do Demi Devi. Let's give him the EXP share. Yes. And like a boss. No. Let's give you the amulet coin. Yes. And then I want to actually switch these two. So we lead with Lex, we'll get double money. What is she guarding? I'm guessing that's a gym leader. I eat some fried ma I'll eat some fried magic carp later. Fisherman Griffin would like to battle. Fisherman Griffin set in Cochran. Go Lex. Lex, use Aqua Jet. Use Aqua Jet again. Nope, I'm gonna stick with Lex. And Thundershock. Thundershock. And Thundershock. I'm gonna stick with Lex. Get him, Lex. Nice way to wake up. Just one shot the thing. I will fry all the Pokemons. Working in a gym is so vain. I stay here and I can't even move my legs or anything. Yeah, I'm guessing she's a gym leader. Which begs the question. First, let me heal all my Pokemon. So we have two things that look like they could be gym leaders. One standing at the end of a pier and the other's like standing on a beach that's clearly a like staging area. This room is a dead end. Gee, I would have never guessed. Hi, Swimmer Flower. Lex, use Thundershock. It's super effective. And Tubja is now paralyzed and unable to move. Do it again, Lex. Sending Cochran. Now nah, stick with my Pokemon. Thunder Shock. Doesn't affect, of course. Forgot Cochran's immune to Thunder Shock. You know what Cochran's not immune to? Aqua Jet. I 
I'm having a bad day. And she ha Callie is really tough and she's beautiful to boot. Uh, well, I know where Callie is now. So that fight really did a number on Lex. So, before, since this is a gym leader fight, let's not take any chances, shall we? Hey, have you been having fun? I'm Callie, gym leader at Bell Beach City. It should be pretty obvious that I use beach Pokemon, right? Let me tell you a little bit of myself. When I was little, I thought it would be a good idea to go out swimming when there wasn't a lifeguard. Suddenly, a riptide swept my feet out from under me. I thought I was going to drown. But then, I felt something underneath me. It was a brainar, brainar, and it carried me to safety. From then, I decided to become a Pokemon trainer and a lifeguard. My Pokemon has saved countless lives, so they're pretty strong. But enough talk. Let's battle. Leader, Callie, would like to battle. Ooh, you're opening with a tub jaw, are you? Lex. Thundershock. Do it again, Lex. And again. I gotta love those trailers with their super potions. Keep spamming your super potions. That's also weak to Thundershock. One down. Nah, I'm gonna stick with what I got. Thundershock. Ah, That was super effective, though. That's not good. Um, send in the big boss. Let's see what the big boss can do. Okay, the big boss isn't very useful. Um, like a boss? I mean, it's a little bit better. Like a boss? Use magnitude. Seven! All right, let's try Alaron. Okay. Um Demi Debbie? Okay, that's a, that's a little bit better. Poison Fang, maybe? Not very effective. Yeah, I'm 
I'm not doing well in this fight, am I? Antony, switch in. Nightshade. That actually did a decent job. Please let me pull off Nightshade. Well, I mean, at least I got a super weak. Um, Switch Pokemon? Yes, because I know for a fact that Lex is good against Tubjaw with Thundershock. No, I'm going to keep my Pokemon. I kept the best for last. That's fine. Super Potion on Lex. Alright, that super effective move didn't really do too terribly much. So if I can just use this do some reviving. Okay. Well, now it's paralyzed. Oof. Not gonna be easy, but I can pull it off. Well, it's paralyzed and it did some did big some da did some big damage to it. Um, big boss, you're basically there as a punching bag, while I throw revise and heals at everybody. Paralyzed, can't move, good. Paralyzed, can't move. Come on, Lex. 
last move. Critical hit. You deserved it. Great match. You sure are strong. Here, take this Tide Badge. And Water Pulse. With a powerful water type attack that can cause confusion. Use it as much as you want. When I'm not sitting around the gym, I'm on the beach working as a lifeguard. My juniors are all trained to be lifeguards, too. All right. We defeated a gym leader. Third. Plus, we advanced the story with the nuclear power plant. In an hour and a half. That's actually not a bad run time. But I think we're going to end it here. Do a bit of healing. See if any new areas open up first. And let's see. I'm going to switch some Pokemon. Place Big Boss. Now, what is the status of the egg? Mystery egg, egg, watch sound can be hurt. The Sounds can be heard coming from inside. It will hatch soon. That's what I'm hoping for. Now, is there a map? Because I'm trying to figure out where... Is the next location to go. Figured as much. Let me guess, a nuclear power plant. Figured as soon as I head toward the exit, something story related would happen. But another explosion in the nuclear power plant. After 10 years again, I can't believe it. I have to go to the island immediately. People are in danger this time. I'm going to make a difference for you, Lucille, and everyone else. Xander, you need to get out of here. This is dangerous. Waves of radiation will be hitting the shore any minute now. Here, I want you to have this. It's the ticket to the west there is a ferry. It will take you across the lake to safety. I don't know much about Pokemon training, but I think there's a gym there, too. I can't take any longer. I need to go. Be safe! Ark, what's wrong with this Pokemon? My capture styler doesn't work on it. Grr, help! Oh, hey, look. It's the radioactive Tancoon again. Gee. It's like, it's exactly like we said. Nothing could possibly go wrong. Thank you. I don't know what was wrong with that thing. It was a weird color. I thought it was maybe a shiny Pokemon, but it didn't act normal either. My styler couldn't calm it down at all. It was really trying to attack me. I've never seen a Pokemon do that. I owe you one, kid. But you should be careful. I think there might be more of these things out there. Yeah. And, of course, I can't go there. Of course.
And down it goes. Well, naturally. Pokeball. Go! Paralyzed, unable to move, low health. Pokeball. Go! Seriously? Okay, fine. Great ball. Go. You're not... Seriously? Sure. Stay in the poker ball, Nebby. Stay in the Pokeball, Nebby. Get in the Pokeball, Nebby.
get in the Pokeball Nebby. Try another netball. Finally. Yes, we are given his nickname. This is Nebby. Oh, thank Arceus, you're awake. You're okay. I saw this Pokemon jump out at you. I've never seen wild Pokemon act like that. It's almost like they're attacking humans on purpose. Stick with me. I'll keep you safe. Okay. Let's see what happens with the ranger in my party. Just trying to see if there's anything else in the area, like other other radioactive Pokemon, but I'm thinking not. No, probably not. All right. Huh? Nupin hatch from the egg. I'd like to give a nickname to newly hatch Nupin. Actually, yeah, sure, why not? Looks like a doge to me. What was that? Holy shakes! I'm out of here! So, uh, yeah. Radioactive Gyarados. Okay, then. Wow. I have to need someone who's immune to poison.
So it's confused, it's low on health. It's intimidated. Yep. Would you like to give it a nickname to Gyarados? Oh, heck yes. We're going to call this one... C Baus. Whew. I sorry I ran away. I've never been so scared. I mean, did you see the size of that thing? Those blank soulless eyes. Sheesh. Just thinking about it now makes me shiver. Besides, I saw how you handled those other Pokemon back on the bridge. You're clearly a very capable trainer. Call hunt, but I bet that that radiation from the power plant is what caused those Pokemon to go crazy and attack. Anyway, I guess area is secure for now. The boat that Kaylin said you should take is just over there. Take care, Xander. Be safe. Yeah, big help you were, Pokemon Ranger. Ferry to Vinofell City. Welcome to Tandar Luxury Cruise. Is that a cruise ticket? Well, welcome aboard. Welcome to Tandor Luxury Cruise. I know you're probably worried about the crisis of the nuclear power plant, but here you can relax. You may take a nap in your own personal room, or you may explore the boat. Many of the other passengers are Pokemon trainers. Like you, I am sure they will be interested in a battle. The ferry has left the harbor. Theo, it's you. I mean, of course you're here. The next gym's this way, isn't it? I beat Cali hard, but my Pokemon train their best. This is dumb, but I'm sort of scared. Wait, no, I, I didn't say it. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be the best trainer ever. Still dead. I mean, Daddy, I mean, he's talking Pokemon. Your dad's a ranger, right? He'll help everyone. He, he, he better. I mean, uh, you want a battle? No. No. What I wanted to re do is rest my Pokemans. Hello, dear. I was a trainer once. I would love a time, but now I'm old and have no use for this. TM, will you make good use of it? Yes. Double team. That's the spirit. I grew up in Nova. I had to learn a new language when I moved to Tandor. Can you tell that I have an accent? Um... There's literally nowhere I can rest. Come on. Those are going to be obviously trainers. More trainers. But there's a Nurse Joy in there. Ah, perfect. I do have a new Pokemon, Doge, which I want to actually give an item to. I'm going to take from, who was it? Dummy Debbie? Item. Give leftovers. Yes. Now give to Doge the EXP share. Do a quick save. And uh, sure, let's see what happens when we battle Theo. And we'll call that as our ending point.
I don't know what happened to Pat right now. All I care about is beating you. Xander versus Theo. Okay, then. That's not horrifying at all. Just like one and two shotting everything he has. No, it's not fair. It's just, it's just, a, it's just a trouble. Game wouldn't be able to try my artist. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. The Tandor Luxury Cruise has arrived at the destination on Route 8 in the wheat field. Feel free to take your time getting off. Thank you, and please come again. So she's the one who just gives me a TMHM. And these are just battles, of course. She's just one-shotting everything. Like, seriously, I'm just one-shotting everything. More or less. I'm here with Evan, but he's big, stuffy, loud, and refuses to enjoy the trip. Yeah. I use only the strongest Pokemon. You will not stand a chance before their might. Uh, okay, Evan. Let's see what you've got. Oh, really? Your Pokemon was so tough, Evan. I don't know how I would have ever defeated him. Okay, you survived one hit. Let's 
give him a taste of like a boss, shall we? Oh, really? You're going to use Seismic Toss? I mean, it's a nice move. I I'll give you that. But have you considered Magnitude? Seven. Okay. Decent hit. Decent hit. I'll give him that. I think I shall require a towel. Mia is far too cheerful in these circumstances. It is very nearly shameful. So we know that that one's one more trainer. Kind of relaxing for you, but I just can't stop thinking about the nuclear plant. Maybe a battle will take my mind off it. Yes, of course, a battle will help you relax. Last Jude, Jade. With an Arbok. Lex, use Aqua Jet. Should have used a poison move. Lex is not, doesn't do very good against poison. Well, that was your mistake. Sure. We want to learn Scald. The user shoots boiling hot water at a target. It may also leave the target with a burn. So that is power 80, accuracy 100. It's classified as a water move. 4100. Yeah, let's forget uh, Aqua Jet. It's a better version, basically. Let's give Skull a try. Definitely a nice move. Everything its attack and speed stats. She just strikes the target with a quick jolt of electricity. This attack cannot be evaded. Nutrient draining attack uses HP to restore by half the damage taken by the target. A nutrient draining attack uses HP to restore half the damage taken by the target. So Mega Drain is just a better version of Absorb. It's got a 4100. 2100. Yeah, forget Absorb. Mega Drain's better. Ugh, couldn't concentrate. I don't even know anybody who worked there. Why am I so worried? I'm more of a mountain man. Being able to make me swear sick. And yet, I fight on. Ah, yes. It's the ice cream... Uh, ice cream hamster. Try Scald. Lex just keeps one-shotting everything. Sturdy, of course. But it's burned. And taken out by burn. Lex is... Kind of overpowered when you think about it, because 
Water, electric, so I have access to water move, electric moves. I can paralyze my opponents, and now a Scald, I can give them burn. My daughter bought me the fairy ticket I, to calm my restless spirits, but it didn't work. I still pine for the Fjords. I have to get off this boat once it stops. There might be people who are injured from the crisis of the power plant. If only I could be as speedy as this quick claw. Does me good, no good, though, so why don't you have it? Hmm. You can help those poor people who may be in danger. This crisis was supposed to be relaxing, isn't it? Quick claw. Alright, not bad. Do a quick Pokemon heal. I figured we, we would actually stop before finishing the trip on here, but it seems relatively small, doesn't it? Yeah. Hello there, little trainer. I'm the captain of the ship. Urgh, but I'm seasick, and we're not even on the ocean. Do what you do. I heard back row's help. It'll chap a favor, would you? Sure, why not? Ah, uh, so much better. What, do you want something? I don't got nothing for you. Scram! Sure, why not? I'm just going to keep doing it a few times, see if anything happens. normally do this, but I'm curious. I'm curious to see if there's actually any benefit to doing it. Other ambassadors are on edge. A crew seem mysteriously absent. The captain is against usual steps. To this allows you to go to the captain's quarry. We can spend some quiet, intimate, time, private time with giving him back rooms. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be there's any mention of it doing anything specific. Ah, well. It was weird, but fun. Keep. Yeah, we're going to face trainers now here, aren't we? All right, let's call it here. And I hope you all had fun here, folks, here on Pokemon Uranium. Now, if I can just get my mouse to actually show up in the right place. <laughs>